evening, friends, and welcome to tonight's review. As some of you who are friends with me on Facebook know, this last week has not been a very good week for me. So here's to Friday and the two days of respite that it brings. So today we shall be reviewing Humboldt Brown Ale. This is brewed by the Humboldt Brewing Company. And this is a brown ale that is brewed with hemp seeds. Yes, hemp seeds. Um, there's actually no THC content in hemp seeds, so it's basically added for the flavor-wise. It's a pretty middling brown ale in um, ABV, 5.7. Uh, sessionable as far as brown ales go. So let's open this up. Now one thing that I've done is that I have let this warm up from the refrigerator for the last 15-20 uh, minutes or so. Mainly because I found in having it chilled, uh, it's not very interesting chilled at all. It's kind of a tasteless chill, but as it warms up it gets some nice notes to it. Give it a fairly vigorous pour because the head on this is kind of short-lived. Which is a shame, really, um, because there's quite um, an interesting nose on this. Now, it kind of has that sort of um, metallic smell, but for some reason I found that brown ales have a sort of metallic um, tone to it that's, um, you just kind of have to get beyond it. So there's a very um, woody, herbally note to this head, and if you notice, it's dissipating quite quickly here. It's sort of um, a tannish color. And um, as for the rest of the color, it's um, a fairly ruby brown. Um, not very, uh, not a bit of translucent, not much translucence to it at all. So there's not really any roasty notes in here. I'm mostly getting a lot of um, woody, herbal, sort of like chicory, you know that, um, chicory, chicory root. It smells sort of like um, an old wooden box of some sort, you know, like an old wooden furniture box inside of that. Underneath that, some very sweet root-like notes. Um, now it's getting a strong herbal content now that the head's burned off. And slight char to it as well. And, yep, the very strong um, nuttiness. Herbal nuttiness, woodiness. <laughs> it's got a very interesting nose. But my problem is the body. It's not very substantial bodied. Um, the front end of the taste of the body is very watery. And, you know, that, that just doesn't go well with the brown ale. Taste-wise, it's, um, I'd have to say that the main note is overall dominated 
I, it took me a while to go and place this note, but I finally remembered back to something I tried in the past. The main taste note is of carob. Carob, that sort of herbal chocolate substitute. And towards the end, there's a sort of root beer like brief hit of um, deep note and rootiness, and also a sort of roasty note, but not a very light roasty note. I would enjoy this much more if it just had a bit more oomph to it. And I don't mean oomph in the taste uh, in the sense, but it's just um, too light for the style, I find. There's some nuttiness behind the carob. But again, like I said, the main flavor note is of carob, and that sort of um, fades away in towards the end note, which is a brief hit of like root beer, and then sort of a coffee roastiness. Not nearly as heavy as a um, stout sort of roastiness, but still a kind of roastiness of the dark malts. Um, As for hemp seeds, I don't know what sort of role they play in the overall flavor. I'm going to guess they're what make the more chocolatey. They, they tilt, they add an herbal sort of end to it, so it has more of a carob instead of a chocolate note to it. Considering how interesting the smell is, it's kind of sad that, you know, I'm, I find the taste a little bit uh, too light. That said, being that it's an ale, a brown ale brewed with hemp, and there aren't many um, beers that use hemp as an adjunct, it's worth just trying for the one time. Um, especially if you live in California and it's fairly cheap there. This is fairly expensive in Hawaii. It's about over $12 a six pack. So, Humboldt brown ale brewed with hemp seeds. Curious, interesting, but no, nah, not going to buy it again. Somebody offered it to me, I'd drink it, but I'm not going to pay money for it again. Sorry folks, and um, I hope that their other offerings are better. I'm going to try their other offerings. I don't believe in, you know, uh, thrashing a beer unless, you know, it's absolutely necessary. And like I said, I'm not thrashing it. It's interesting. It's good for a one-time try, but eh, ain't much to return back to. Well, folks, that's your review for tonight. Cheers!